It's a bit of a Bombay dream special today. Gloria speaks to both those in it and those promoting it on Oprah and House after the golfing highlights. Oh, can I pay for this later? Yeah, of course you can. Thanks. You still upset about Vince? Oh, yeah, I'm still absolutely furious about it. Well, you should be. Vince has done some low things in the past, but divorcing you so he can get his hands on your money beats a lot. I know. So it could be worse. How? Could still be living with him. No, thank you. See? Better off than you thought. At least this way he's out of your life forever. Yeah, I hope so. I'll tell you something, though. What? There is no way on this earth that I'm going to let him squeeze a single penny out of me. Good for you. See you later. That was all right. I'd much rather have been here. Yeah. Dad, did you miss me? Yeah, of course. Did the function go okay? Yeah, it went well, actually. And how's Nikki? You know, being away from the kids and everything. Well, to be honest with you, we didn't really talk about much apart from work. I suppose not. Blimey, well, you're back then? Yeah. Morning. Hi. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Where you been? Oh, you know, running about. Listen, I'm, uh, I'm sorry if you're worried about your rent, but I've got it for you now. Two weeks' worth. Well, I wasn't, but thanks. OK. Right, I'm uh, going to go for a shower, if that's OK. Jude. Um, listen, jerry has been around a few times looking for you. Oh, right. She was worried. No one knew where you were. Yeah, well, I had things to deal with. Well, maybe you should let me know you're back now. Yeah, all right. I'll go and see her. Things I need to sort out first. Oh, hi, yeah. I've got some posts for Jerry. Is she around? Yeah, I'll just go for you. Hey, thanks. Hey. Oh. Hello, boy. You come to have another go at me? I wouldn't waste my breath. Well, that makes a nice change. So I assume we're still on for the weekend, me seeing David. <laughs> you shouldn't assume anything. Well, so you're going back on our arrangement? I didn't say that. I said I'm not that sure about this weekend, that's all. So when? Tomorrow? I don't think so. Why not? It's not convenient. All right, what about the day after tomorrow? I'm afraid I'm going to have to think about it. Why, Cat? It can't be that hard working out when I can see my son. Listen, when I let you see him, it's up to me. No, no, you listen. I have rights, OK? And I'm still his father. <laughs> don't remind me. Now, you can't stop me from seeing my son. And if you try... Pete, 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 Pete. can I have a quick word? Cat, are you OK? Yeah, fine. It's that nutcase you've got to worry about. Yeah. No, she's not worth it. Save your energy. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Come on, let's go and have a coffee. I thought Pete was really going to lose it then. Yeah, me too. It's a good job Charlotte's around to calm him down when he gets like that. Mm. She really has a magic touch. She only said two words to him and he was back to normal. Yeah, I noticed. Listen, um, I've been there a second. I thought you said you two were just friends. We are. Well, it didn't look that way to me. You're wrong, weren't you? Well, that's a shame. Why's that? Oh, I don't know. I just want you to find someone nice and settle down, you know. One of us deserves a bit of happiness. Something wrong? No, no, I'm fine. Come on, Dad, what is it? Well, it's me and Fern. Uh, we're going to get a divorce. Why now? I thought we might as well get it over and done with. It's got to happen sometime. Yeah, I suppose. Can't be very nice. Such is life. Well, listen, if there's anything I can do, let me know. Yeah, will do, son. See ya. Don't tell me that was about the divorce. Yeah, must be awful for them both. Seems pretty upset. Him upset? Don't think so. Jude. There you go. The whole lot for the van. So you won't need your heavy to do your dirty work for you anymore. What? Save the innocent routine. They did an excellent job, by the way. I've still got the bruises to prove it. Just didn't think it was your style. No, mate, you think I had you beaten up? Don't treat me like an idiot, all right? Listen, I have no idea what happened, but it was nothing to do with me, and you can keep this lot and all. What? I've been paid already. How? Cameron, he gave me 350 quid when you did a runner. Cameron did? Yes. 
Because there's no debt and I didn't have you beaten up, alright? Are you sure he interrupted something? I mean, she wasn't just calling around about work. Looked like a quiet night in to me. Hang on a second, Nikki. You didn't want a relationship, yeah? So why are you so bothered about him seeing someone? Well, I don't know. I said no to a relationship because I didn't think it was the right thing to do. But I know I've no right to be upset. I, I just didn't expect him to get involved with someone else so quickly. What, you think they're together properly? Well, it certainly looked that way to me. Hey, good news. Why? What? Cat's making it really difficult for Pete to see Davy, and he doesn't like it one bit. Good, he deserves it. That and a whole lot more. Yeah, well, I've been going through the public accounts over the last few days. I'm sure there must be a discrepancy or two there somewhere. And? So far, nothing. He may be a nasty piece of work, but when it comes to the pub, it looks like he keeps things pretty clean. No, I doubt it. He's as crooked as they come. Well, then why can't I find anything? You will. It'll be there. It's going to look a bit harder. Everything OK? Yes, fine. Never better. Sure? Of course. Can't keep the customers waiting. Here you go. Have your lunch break? Oh, with the cafe in the shop, I needed a break. There you go. Oh, I can imagine. So how are you bathing then? Yeah, fine. Apart from the fact I'm going to be stuck here all summer. Now we're going on holiday then. No, I wish. I can't afford it. <laughs> can I get you something? Yeah. Job, please. You don't know anyone that's looking for staff at the moment, do you? No. I've just been on a mission in town, but no luck so far. Oh, well. <sighs> Have I done something? No. Good. Because it'd be a shame for us to fall now. Why? We're in the same boat, aren't we? <laughs> How'd you work that out? We always get caught in the middle when there's an argument going on. Oh, there's only one person to blame for that. Who? Well, who'd you think? Pete. If there's a row around here, you can bet he's caused it. Yeah. Sure, you know. I don't know what you've seen him. Yeah, well, Pete's got into some trouble in the past, but he's only human. <sighs> you think? Yeah, he deserves a second chance. But my husband, Josh, didn't get a second chance today. And whose fault is that, then? Now, if you want people to forgive and forget what Pete's done around here, you'll be waiting a long time. We've got some visitors. Oh, I know you just got back, but we saw you and Matt come in with the baby and we just couldn't resist a peek. Oh, look, she's fast asleep. She's beautiful, isn't she? She's gorgeous. She's so tiny. <laughs> How much she weigh? Six pounds, exactly. She's already grown in four days. Oh, look oh. at her tiny fingers. What's her name? Uh, she hasn't got one yet. Oh. Well, plenty of time to decide. Yeah. Hey. You're back! Jim, I've got someone you should meet. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Hello, little one. Oh. oh, she's lovely. Congratulations. <laughs> well done, mate. Thank you, sir. So, where's Kelly? Um, uh, she's in Dorset with Sadie, having a rest. But she's all right, though? I think so, yeah. Would you like to hold her? Oh. Oh, are you going to come for a hug with your Auntie Fern? Yes. Oh, beautiful. Sweet. Now, I can't believe it's this 21st. I don't know where the years have gone. Oh, me neither. Ah, uh, hi. Sorry to interrupt. Um, no problem. What can I get you? Black coffee, please. Excuse me. I was wondering if you needed any staff. Oh, sorry. I'm afraid we don't at the moment. Okay. There you go. My... Thanks anyway. So, uh, what are we going to do for a karma? We want to make an effort. You don't turn 21 every day. I wanted to throw him a party, but I don't think we can afford it. Yeah, well, we don't need to go mad. Yeah, but I mean, parties are so expensive these days. Even hiring the venue costs a fortune. No, I hadn't thought that. I always wanted to do something really special for him when he got to this age. I didn't realise we'd be broke. Oh, I don't have a word with Roy about the cafe. They might hire it out as a good rate. Worth a try. Just that, please, Fern. What? Just that. Oh. Sorry. Shouldn't get into these things. Full of rubbish, anyway. Thanks. So how are you with everything? Vince has told you about the divorce, hasn't he? Yeah, I'm sorry to hear about it. It's probably inevitable. Oh, Dad seems to be taking it hard. Pardon? I spoke to him this morning. He seemed quite upset. Upset? Yeah. But it can't be easy for either of you. I see. And did he tell you why he's divorcing me? No, but... I to get thought... his hands on my money! Are you sure? Yes! He told me he wants half of everything. My money, the inheritance, the lot! 
I want my van. You're back then? Yep, and I want my van back. Tough. I'll pay for the rest of it. It's mine now. I don't think so. What are you doing back here anyway? You're not welcome. I've come and talked to a robber. He's not interested in a no-hoper like you. Actually, I've been doing pretty well since I've been away. I believe that when I see it. Made enough money to clear up my debts and sell up here properly. Don't you think it's a bit late for that? My dad's not interested anymore. Oh, he will be, once I've had a chance to talk to him. When are you going to get it through your thick head that they don't care about you? No one even looked for you when you went missing. Even your little girlfriend stopped caring after a couple of days. I don't believe you. And Robert would never give up on me. Don't be so sure. It was his idea to buy the van. And do you want to know why? Why? To make sure that you had nothing to do with our lives ever again. Nicky, we need to order more coffee, remember? I am aware of that. So are you going to do it? Yes, and that's the second time you've asked me. So I'll do it when I've got a minute, OK? What did I say? It wasn't what you said that was the problem. Uh, two cappuccinos to go, please. You sure you've got enough money to pay for them? Mm. Eh? Well, I'm assuming you're desperate for cash, given that you're trying to bleed Fern for everything she's got. Not everything, just half. And you think that's OK, do you? Well, of course it is. She owes me. You know, sometimes I'm actually ashamed to be related to you. You know, I think you'd do exactly the same thing in my position. No, I wouldn't. Hi there. Oh, hi. You're looking very well. She's been trying to talk some sense into him. No chance of that. Anyway, I wouldn't waste your time. It's not worth it. Uh, forget the coffee. I'll come back later. Thanks for that. It's no problem. Someone has to tell him, don't they? Yeah, I know. And I appreciate it, but uh, I think it's probably best if I deal with him myself from now on. Cool. OK. I can handle him. Any luck finding a job? I wish. Something will come up. Yeah. I had an idea while I was out. Oh, am I going to like this? Well, you'll find out if you listen. <laughs> oh, go on, then. It's that bloke Cameron Devonport's 21st birthday soon, and his parents want to throw him a party. So? Well, I was wondering if you might want to offer them the lounge bar. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. I'm sure I could come up with a good deal. Mm. Do you have to charge them at all? <laughs> well, you want me to give it to them for free? You could. Now, why would I want to do that? I hardly know. Yeah, but they'll pack the place out and probably spend a fortune at the bar. And you never know when you might need a favour back from his dad. Well, it's uh, nothing I want at the moment. Yeah, but it's always good to be in credit. And besides, it'll be a nice community gesture. <laughs> Haven't I done enough for the community? What about that free beer fiasco for the Jubilee? Hmm. Your generosity always pays off in the long run. It gets people on your side. At least say you'll think about it. Only don't leave it too long, because I heard them say they were going to ask Roy. Yeah, all right. I'll, uh, I'll think about it, but I'm not promising you anything, OK? OK, great. Oh. She likes that. I can hardly believe she's ours. Me neither. It's amazing, isn't it? How your life can change in an instant. Yeah. I mean, look at us. A few days ago, it was just me and you. Now, all of a sudden, we're a family. I know. I never thought we'd make it to this point. After all the ups and downs. We did, though. Best thing that's ever happened to me. I love you. I love you too. Hi, oh, can I have a cappuccino to go? Please. Coming up. You must be relieved. Why? The juice back. Oh, right, yeah. Did it tell you where it'd been? No. no me neither. It's very mysterious. Hope he hasn't got himself in any trouble. Yeah. Um, sorry, Roy, I just remembered something. I'm gonna have to cancel that coffee. All right, okay. okay. Can I ask you something? Yeah, what? Is Nicky okay at the moment? What do you think? No. Well, have I offended her? Oh, let's see. Over the last few days, what could you possibly have done to offend her? What do you mean? Come on, Roy, it doesn't take a genius to work it out, does it? Hey, I've been, uh, thinking about what you said. And? Yeah, yeah, you might be right. Great. Maybe it is time I let people around here. 
know how much I value their custom. He'll make Robert and Ginny stay. Why don't we go over there now? Yeah, yeah, all right. Hey, there's these um, two glass stations in that part, mate. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? What? Oh, hang on, hang on. You're not going to ask me to give away any more freebies, are you? No, no, no. I just don't see why it needs both of us to go. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'll, uh, I'll leave it to you. Hey, no, oh, hey, you should go. It's your part. Yeah, well, it was your idea. They're going to wonder how I knew it was their son's birthday. Well, just say that I heard them talking about it earlier. OK, OK, I'll go. Good, because this way it'll look like it was your idea. They'll be grateful forever, I promise. Well, they better be. <laughs> Have you any idea how you made me feel? Angry, worried, humiliated, and that's just for starters. I'm sorry. I didn't deserve it. I know. If you didn't want to see me anymore, why couldn't you just tell me instead of running off like a coward? I didn't go because of you. So why did you leave, and why couldn't you tell me where you were going? It's difficult. Jude, what's going on? Look. I understand that you're angry. And? And maybe you'd be better off without me. What? Things are uh, tricky for me at the moment, and uh, it's not very fair on you. Oh, no, you're not getting away with it that easily. I want an explanation. Please tell me what's going on. I can't. Well, I'm not going anywhere until you tell me. What the hell do you think you're doing? Well? I just had to take care of some business. Oh, right, working for MI5. I had some debts hanging over me and I went away to raise the cash to pay them off. And you couldn't tell me that? Come on, I want the truth. I'm not lying to you. I just wanted to do something right for a change. What do you mean? I thought that if I sorted myself out, I could get Robert to trust me again. Why did you have to go so suddenly? I just couldn't bear it. Not being able to talk to my own brother. So I had to do something about it right away. Look, I'm sorry for what I put you through. But it's what I had to do. OK. I was so worried about you. I know. I mean, when Cameron said that you didn't turn up at the cafe, I thought that you were annoyed with me for setting you up in the... Cameron? What are you talking about? Well, he asked me to get you to the cafe for a certain time. Why? I think he wanted to talk to you to make peace. Well, that doesn't sound like him. That's what he said. So, uh, they're probably in the files downstairs. I'll go and take another look. What, you really expect me to believe that? What? That you're up here searching for everything, looking for an invoice. Well, it's the truth. I'm not stupid, Tom. Sorry? Rifling through Pete's files the moment he steps out the door. What, are you looking for some kind of incriminating evidence, are you? I think you're being a bit paranoid, I know what you're trying to do. Yeah? What's that? Get back at him. Have your revenge. Something along those lines, anyway. And I think you're a sick man. Yeah? Well, did you know that my daughter is without a mother because of him? She died in a car crash which he caused. He told me about Kate and Harriet, yeah. What? And you can still live here, knowing that? It's not as simple as that, and you know it. Yes, it is. He's wrecked my life. I can't see my daughter anymore. Look, what happened was tragic, but it wasn't only Pete's fault. You don't know anything about it. You weren't here, and you've only known him five minutes. Yeah, well, I still know him better than anyone. I doubt that very much. What are you doing in my flat? He was just collecting these. Yeah, thanks. What can I do for you? Something up at the calf? No, no, it's nothing like that. I, I just wanted to chat, that's all. All right. What about? I just wondered how you were. I'm fine, thank you. And you? To be honest, I'm a bit confused. About? About me and Siobhan. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Boy, do we really need to be having this conversation? Yeah, I think we do. There's some things I need to say. OK, far away. I just want to explain about Siobhan. Oh, you don't have to. No, please, just listen to me. The thing is, I thought that maybe there might be something between you and me. I see. I told you. Yeah, I know, I know. You, you're constrained on your kids right now, and 
you know you don't want much from me or anyone else. But I care about you. And there was a moment where I thought, 